SCP-1124, Object Class, Heater. SCP-1124 are metallic objects found near research base Ilyena on... The first instances of SCP-1124 were recovered from canisters underneath... Mountain Range. Entities contained by the canisters have the appearance of cephalopods, weighing exactly 1.0268 kilograms. Instances of SCP-1124 are impervious to heat and pressure. Each is otherwise not responsive to external stimuli, save for physical contact with biological matter, which will cause instances of SCP-1124 to activate and... Reaction to biological matter originating from a sapient creature tends to elicit a more violent response. Though observations are performed daily through a viewing window in tank 1124-C by monitoring cameras, a definite shape cannot be substantiated. The most recent appearance appears similar to a larval grub. SCP-1124-C is in all instances metallic in appearance. The entity frequently gnaws and consumes the casing in its containment unit, although the amount of damage taken is acceptable due to the density and thinness of the film used to line the chamber. Further research into containment is deemed necessary as the creature has been shown to grow in minor increments when more material is consumed. A tear located in researcher bodysuit during transfer allowed Activating one instance of SCP-1124, security cameras show the entity quickly gnawing itself out from the inside of its alloy casing and then lodging itself into the mouth of one researcher. This method of mobility is believed to be a spring-like motion using its appendages, but this is still unconfirmed. Following containment procedures, researcher... Sealed himself inside Unit 1124-C and activated the failsafe mechanism, effectively containing SCP-1124-C. See Incident Report 1124, Personnel Termination Dossier. Reference SCP-1124 Transmitted Data and Video Transcript-C for further details. SCP-1124 Addendum-A Ilyana Lander returned to Air Force Base in Nevada on 2000 without a shuttle. 6555-X23 was obtained by the organization after being alerted of the circumstances of its arrival by General 655-X23 arrived with no passengers and loaded past carrying capacity with instances of SCP-1124 in their original canisters. Attempts to contact Theta or the station have since been unsuccessful. An unmanned drone has since been deployed to to investigate. SCP-1124 Addendum B Research Drone X-23E was able to gain access to the research bay at Ilyena. Unidentified variations of SCP-1124 were discovered before calm loss with the drone. Reference SCP-1124 Video Transcript-C. SCP-1124 Video Transcript-C read in the order of classification number, description, and heat signature. 1124-01. Small, each exactly 1.0268 kilograms and generally inactive. Metallic in appearance, has a distinct cone-shaped mantle, and is perfectly bilaterally symmetrical, speculated to activate when exposed to biological matter. 
no heat signature. Dash 02. Anatomically similar to common spiders, differs in appearance from spiders in that the body segments are fused into four tagmata and joined by four cylindrical pedicels. Has one anterior antennae. Ignores research drawn X 23E. No heat signature. Dash 05. Hominid appearance appears in multiple places in different frames. After following the drone for some time, a large flare damaged thermal sensors. 4 micrometers. Dash 88. We can conclude the material composing the progeny of 1124 is vincible. In other frames, the material is shown to have regenerated. Not applicable. Dash 89. Eight micrometers. Dash 07. Entity ignored research drone allowing for close inspection. Has a tail equal in length to its body. Two sets of serrated teeth, each approximately 10 centimeters in length. Observed destroying walls and theta and consuming them. The consumption seems to be aided by elongated nostrils near its anterior. 5.45 micrometers. Dash 6. Dash 24. Fluctuated in appearance wildly, although this may be due to damaged thermal sensors. Subject first appears reptilian in appearance. 2 micrometers. Dash 23. Caused considerable damage to X-23E. Sampling actuators completely dissolved. Dash After some observation, the subject's appearance altered to that of and gestured as if to suggest the drone do so. The researchers wrote remotely operating the drone attempt to communicate with the entity. As a result of this verbal stimulus, the entity charges towards the drone and finally communication with X-23E ceases. No further data could be obtained. Compiler's note, addendum dash D. Instances of SCP-1124's progeny that express low heat signature very slightly in appearance, but share some characteristics including metallic angular features and segmented limbs. Entities with higher heat signatures appear less angular and are not segmented. Some bodily features are similar to animals that were previously housed on site, although these influences seem to be primarily reptilian. Temperatures on range from negative 208 to negative 223 degrees Celsius, and surface gravity is roughly 44.88 meters a second. Life support systems at Ilyena are not functional. Gravity stabilization generators inside Ilyena are also non-functioning. The atmosphere of would corrode most earth metals. These entities do not require air and are composed of currently unclassified organic material and metals. Video recording 1124C area. Researcher enters area 1124C carrying container with one instance of SCP-1124. Loses balance. A tear is shown on closer inspection near the researcher's leg. A negligible amount of blood is spilled on the casing. The casing begins to move around and slide along the floor. Places two hands on the casing, effectively stopping it from moving. A small hole appears on the casing surface. Researcher places one hand over the hole and quickly recoils in pain. A figure matching typical appearance of... SCP-1124-1 emerges from the hole slightly, pausing for roughly three seconds. Remains still and continues looking at SCP-1124. SCP-1124 retreats into the hole. 
produces emergency film from a storage closet near unit 1124-C and leans over the box to begin applying it to the casing. SCP-1124 shoots out of its casing into... Mouth. Appears to panic, runs into cell 1124-C, and begins punching a button linking to the failsafe. Doors to unit 1124-C lock, and the chamber begins filling with triphlic acid and mist. Head appears to inflate slightly. Collapses. Skull appears through cracks in the skin on the head, blood beginning to drain from cranial orifices. At this point, filming is obscured by acid, all but completely filling the tank. The sound of a metallic screeching can be heard, followed by a dull thud and a sound similar to a balloon popping. Related Documentation Short History of Ilyena, Project Tantalus, and the Grey Dragon Incident Ilyena, or Site Dash X-19 was established for conducting research and experimentation deemed too risky for planet-side operations due to its location on Ilyena was a low-risk solution and conveniently dispensable. The atmosphere on rendered any containment breach irrelevant and allowed for quick termination. After decades of research and failed termination attempts, SCP became docile. During this 30-year grace period, absolutely no research or testing was devoted into the nature or genesis of SCP. SCP was redesignated as Euclid, although there was no change in containment procedure. SCP Highly unusual docile behavior was almost inexplicable at the time. This period of general quiet surrounding SCP began shortly after the Foundation's involvement in Sector The Foundation's extraterrestrial involvement was a response to civilian developmental breakthroughs resulting from the discovery of the Equation, and the subsequent colonization of Sector SCP once again became active when pods containing the SCP-1124 canisters landed at Air Force Base in Nevada on 2000. The resulting destruction of site and the continent of is known as the Gray Dragon Incident. When Paws arrived at Air Force Base, arms in block of sight sounded as a result of thermal and kinetic changes in the containment cell of SCP. D-class personnel on assignment guarding SCP reported movement in the containment cell. SCP broke containment shortly after ignoring site personnel and heading directly towards the Ilyena lander coordinates. An alert was sent to General. The General ordered a battalion of soldiers outfitted with Intercept SCP. En route to the lander. This resulted in... 
casualties. Mobile Task Forces Alpha-2 and Delta-5, each carrying single Alpha pods of SCP-1124, were intercepted and destroyed by SCP. Foundation losses were extreme. It was later revealed by Mobile Task Force IOTA-5 after returning the lot of SCP-1124. That protocol was broken and these pods were given to the other groups as a diversionary measure. It is not known what became of the pods used for the diversion. SCP went uncontained for years. The continent of inhospitable, marking the most severe breach in Foundation history. SCP was finally lured into a new containment cell using an inactive SCP-1124. During the operation to intercept SCP, SCP Containment cell was refit and housed 70 kilometers underground in a previously decommissioned facility. Walls were surrounded with pools of triflic acid and containment procedures were established on site. SCP Containment and Mobile Task Force IOTA 5's return and immediate termination marked the conclusion of the Grey Dragon incident. Project Tantalus began in the summer of 2000. <laughs> Following the string of incidents caused by the containment breach of SCP, <laughs> SCP Correlation with SCP-1124 was revealed through its actions. The project consists of SCP Relocation to a new research facility in for a new series of termination attempts. All samples delivered are in containment. The distance of Air Force Base is unlikely as no more than one lander and shuttle was stationed at Ilyana at the time of the outbreak. Research drones have revealed that the since-missing shuttle is currently eroding on the planet's surface. Samples of SCP-1124 have been transferred to Warehouse Compound 1124XA as per recommendation by Dr. Researcher Sanders, Dr. Herman, and Dr. Smith have been, have been given special clearance to access the samples at their own discretion with the conditions that update logs and proof of inactivity or reactivation are immediately placed on record. Indefinite surveillance of these researchers is enacted as a precaution. With the exception to the Ilyana incident, no instances of SCP-1124 have been activated save for SCP-1124-C. The housing compound is located 70 kilometers un underground outside of site. And is equipped with a fail-safe nuclear device should emergency protocol fail. Individual instances of SCP-1124 are encased in airtight, soundproof, heatproof, 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter steel blast safes. Isolated instances of SCP-1124 are kept individually in steel stores with equipped motion and heat sensing equipment. No more than one instance of SCP-1124 is to be tested at any given time. Testing is to be done with approval from each of the three aforementioned personnel, site director, and O5 directorate approval. It is recommended drones instead be sent to Ilyana for research. Should the defensive systems within the testing chambers fail, the chamber is to be immediately sealed, filled with triflic acid, and incinerated. 
Any researchers present inside of the testing chamber are to remain there during the termination protocol. Efforts are being taken to destroy SCP-1124-C before it matures, although with current results, this seems unlikely. Progeny itself is contained in a 3 meter by 3 meter by 3 meter containment unit with acid-proof titanium sheeting. The container should be completely submerged and recycled with triflic acid at all times. The unit itself is to be lined monthly with extra titanium sheeting to replace dissolved or destroyed sheeting. This maintenance process should be completed within a span of 40 minutes.